Hey, what is up you guys? Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Josh and I'm a makeup artist from New York. I have a brand new video for you guys today. And I, can I just say, I love that orange turtleneck you're wearing. It just makes your neck look beautiful. <laughs> so what is up you guys? Brand new week, brand new videos. And today for you guys, I have June's BoxyCharm. This guy just came in the mail. Of course, this is the base box that retails for $25. And we're just gonna dive in and see all the goodies that came in this month's box. So if you guys want to see if June 2020 Boxy Charms is worth your coin, make sure to keep on watching. Don't want to feel you. Don't want you on my mind. Don't want to leave a comment down below what you think about this video, and make sure you guys hit that like button for that YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you aren't subscribed to my channel already. Make sure you guys join the family. Make sure you hit that post notification icon so you're notified every single time i drop a brand new video i make videos monday tuesday wednesdays and friday and yeah that's pretty much it <laughs> so boxy charm the new one so we're gonna hop right in so of course just like every month we have a five products in our base box boxy charm so we're gonna start off with the first product the first product that we have is the qms intensive eye care day and night eye cream and it looks like this, it's really tiny, and it retails for $132. A nurturing formula developed to rejuvenate, hydrate, and care for the sensitive skin around the eyes with its multi-action formulation featuring natural firming extracts and intensely moisturizing ingredients. Intensive eye care provides targeted treatment to the delicate eye of the eye zone. Its rich nurturing texture is both gentle and highly effective in helping to reduce fine lines, dark circles, and puffiness. Wow, can I get 10? <laughs> So the cream is really small and it has a little cover. It smells like cream. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with a mirror and let's see. I use, I have a current eye cream. I currently use the, um, I don't know the brand. It starts with an M, but it's a pretty good one. So this one's more pricier though. So let's see. So you just wanna take your ring finger and then you wanna put a little bit under your eyes literally like that's how much you have to put like a little goes such a long way and you have to work it in carefully because your under eyes are really you know fragile yeah a little goes a really long way some people even tap it in like this with their ring finger I mean, it feels like eye cream. <laughs> I never know what I'm supposed to be feeling for. I know it's not supposed to burn. I know that much. But I never know if I'm like looking to like <laughs> turn turn 10 years old. <laughs> if my fine lines are supposed to disappear immediately. I mean, it feels good. It feels like my other one. It feels a little bit more viscous than the other one. So like a thicker cream. But it does feel really nice. I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll update you guys as I use it more because obviously the first use isn't going to like do it justice, but it does definitely feel really good. I mean, I doubt it's not good. It's $132. <laughs> Price does not mean quality. Okay, next product, we have a Zoella Premier palette. And this bad boy looks like this. Oh, sorry, Zoeva. I said Zoella. I don't know why. I'm like the YouTuber. <laughs> The Zoeva eyeshadow palette offers a range of highly pigmented and easy to blend eyeshadow shades in tempting hues for ultra glamorous makeup looks. These eyeshadows feature a formulation enriched with vitamin E. And this retails for $28. I've actually never used a Zoeva eyeshadow palette before, but I've always been interested because they're like one of the main ones on BoxyCharm. But let's check this bad boy out. This is what the palette looks like. Here's a little color story. Again, no mirror in this one. A little similar to the Juvia's Place palette, so a little cheaper. So we're going to go in with that on the eyes. I'm just going to prime my eyes off camera with the MAC Painterly Paint Pots, and I'll be right back. So the palette is, in my opinion, it's a very neutral palette. <laughs> it's not like we could do much, you know. We're just going to do a cut crease with a little bit of color. But it's definitely, I feel like, nice for that person who doesn't always do too much. So it it's easy to do a nice look. So let's see what we could achieve. So first, I'm going to go in with fourth wall. 
I'm gonna put that all over my lid. So I'm going in with the Scott Barnes number 62 brush like I usually do. Oh shit, that's pigmented as fuck. Okay, I never used these palettes before, but it's like really pigmented, I'm shook. <laughs> And now I'm going to dip into the shade, I don't know what the fuck this shade is called, Melodious Singer? I can't, I can't usually say words, but that was hard. Melodious Singer? Melodious Singer? I guess it's called Melodious Singer. And I'm going to put that on the outer corner, on the, like, the edge, so I kind of blend it out. That has a nice hue. And now, oh, that's another matte. I just realized that. Okay, so I might go into that one too. Now I'm gonna go into Greatest Era and I'm gonna concentrate that on the outer corner and deepen it up a bit. And now I'm just going to go in with my finger and I'm going to finish off the lid on the inner corner with the shade Say Goodbye. Holy shit, I don't think I've ever seen so much fallout in my life. Ah, it's in my eye. Now, I do think I'm going to take that shade Greatest Era, the darker one, and just darken up a bit more of the edge. Yeah, I'm liking how that's coming out. You can't really tell because there's a dual chrome on, but hopefully it's like, you can tell. <laughs> it does look nice, though. It does look really nice. I'm not going to lie. Now I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and we will continue with the rest of the box. All right, so I finished both eyes and here they are. I'm liking how it's looking. Let's continue with the next product. So the next product we have is Touch and Soul Pretty Filter Glassy Skin Balm and it looks like this. I freaking love the packaging. The packaging looks amazing. An ultra hydrating priming skin balm with an sensationally smooth texture that melts into your skin and creates the ultimate glow that lasts throughout the day and it retails for 32 dollars now i'm wondering if, is it a i'm guessing it's a skin balm okay so it's not a primer i thought it was a primer <laughs> but i'll try it after i take off my makeup so it's a skin balm i guess it's like chapstick for your oh this is cool look at the packaging this is so awesome. I've never seen anything like this. And it opens like this. Oh. This is cool. It has this top. Mmm. It smells real good. Whoa. I need to try this. All right. So it's not a primer. <laughs> so we're not going to go in with this. So I'm just going to prime my face right before we go into foundation and concealer and everything. I'm just going to prime my face with the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. Now that I prime my face, I'm just going to go in with foundation and concealer to create a base and then we're going to finish off the rest of the box. So now I've put on my foundation and I put my concealer, I set my face, I contoured, um, all that type of stuff and I finished off the eye look. So now we're just going to finish off the looks that are left. So next we have a first on my channel, well most of these are first, but something i've been wanting to try for a while artist couture diamond glow powder looks like this i love the packaging by the way the marbling is awesome i've thought about this idea too diamond glow powders were created with first 
versatility, and customization in mind, start with a subtle, luminous sheen or build this powder up for an intense, amplified look. Diamond Glow Powder is designed for all skin tones and types so everyone can find their Go Glow. And this retails for $27 from Artist Couture. So, I've actually never tried any of their products. Um, how fun. A loose highlighter as a first. <laughs> Hopefully this won't be like um, the Juvia's Place loose highlighter. That, that made a mess. Ooh, look at the component. That's a nice ass component. That's some quality component right there. This is the item I chose actually for this month. Ooh, I'm excited. Is there like a little plastic I have to take off? So I got it open. So I'm gonna go in with the same brush as the Juvia's Place video and I'm just gonna dip in a bit. Oh my God, every time it takes so much. And I'm just gonna tap it where I would usually want my highlighter. On both sides, cause I have way too much. And then I'm just gonna buff it out. So I just tried to tap it on with my finger and it literally disappeared. <laughs> Unless it's there and I don't see it. I don't think it's there. Let me try with my Scott Barnes number 66 brush. I'm just gonna dip the little edge of it in. Okay, I picked some up. Now I'm just gonna place it where I want it. And then I'm gonna blend. This is the only thing I don't like about the loose ones. You never know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> I don't know if it's on my skin or not. <laughs> I mean, I look good. All right. Last but certainly not least. Oh, wait. That's not true. Let me put on a bit of blush because I look dead. Okay, I don't look dead anymore. <laughs> okay. The final product that we got in our boxy charm is the Beauty Volte Circadian Lip Trio Liner. Our lip liners are buttery smooth, which glides on and blends easily. They are richly pigmented and long wearing, and they retail for $18. This is what it looks like. Like I said, it's a trio, so I come with three of them. I have like every lip liner ever, but why not? <laughs> ah! Ooh. So we got three colors in here. They're pretty deep, but I think I'm gonna go with the one in the middle. And I'm gonna use that guy to line my lips. Oh, they are really smooth. I'm just gonna finish off the sensor with a Bobbi Brown Luxe Lip Color and the color Rose. Okay, but I like how this looking together. <laughs> I mean, that's the completed look right there for you guys. There's not much else to add, and we went through all the products, but I do like how it came out. Not gonna lie. <laughs> all right, let's go over every single product here in our boxy charm and see what my final thoughts are. First up, the Zoeva eyeshadow palette. Like I said, I had never tried Zoeva before. However, this palette was extremely creamy. I'm not gonna lie, I judged it a little for not having a mirror, and sometimes that gives me a taste of how the palette might work out. This did not. This palette is really, really, really creamy. Like when you put the shadow on your eye, you feel the creaminess of those mattes. Whoever's making these um, formulas is really doing a good job down at the lab. Next, we have Touch in Soul, the Glossy Skin Balm. I did not try this yet, but it smells amazing. It feels amazing. I imagine it's gonna look great on the skin, but I'm definitely really excited to give this thing a try. I love anything skincare, especially if it's gonna keep me hydrated. Next, of course, we have the artist. We have the artist Couture's powdered highlighter. I didn't hate it. I can tell that I'm highlighted, but you can tell just like the Juvia's one exactly where I placed it, and then I blend it out, which I personally don't like. This one's a little bit better, but still, you can see that I placed it right here and blend it out. 
which with the pressed highlighter you don't notice that as much because you can put it exactly where you want I wish it agreed with my skin maybe a little bit more and blend it out nicely but I just have to give it a few more tries and next of course we tried the QMS intensive eye cream this was really nice and viscous a really nice eye cream gonna give you guys what I think about that after a little bit and last but not least we have the Beauty Volte trio lip liners these did come out really nice i usually use a nyx or a ColourPop one um i would say it's a little bit more color pop one S nyx are can be a little dry sometimes i'm not gonna lie <laughs> if you've ever been on the road and you had your and you didn't have your liners and you went to some store like cvs and picked up a nyx liner you know how hard those shits can be sometimes <laughs> so i don't blame you but these are really nice and creamy and i believe this is a newer brand so definitely go check them out if you like how these lips came out on me but that's pretty much everything in my boxy charm and literally mine's worth like over 225 dollars and i paid 25 which is literally mind-blowing so the way i see it i basically paid for the artist couture diamond glow and everything else came free because this is 27 and the box is like 27 plus tax <laughs> But if you guys want to subscribe to BoxyCharm, make sure you guys use the link in my bio down below. You'll get a free item when you do sign up for BoxyCharm and it will help me out as well because it is an affiliate link. I also have other affiliate links down there. I have Scott Barnes and, you know, Il Maquillage and stuff like that. So make sure you guys go check that out and go pick some stuff out. It really helps me out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys check out Think of the Podcast. My podcast, there's a brand new episode every single week. We also just released Think of the Merch, the merchandise for the podcast. And we have already done one of four giveaways. So make sure you guys follow us at Think of the Podcast on Instagram to tune in for our giveaways for ThinkitTheMerch.com. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. You want to know what? No, I am going to leave. <laughs> My mind, don't want to feel you. Don't want you on my mind, on my mind, on my mind, 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 mind. I'm gifting up, I'm gifting up, I'm gifting up.